I work in a team. There's no way that I could do this job just on my own. Um, to take care of the sick patients that we do involves seeing them in the emergency room, working with the emergency room physicians, working with the pre-hospital providers, and then they potentially will go to the operating room. I have to work with the anesthesia team, the scrub nurses, the recovery nurses. Following that, if they're sick, then they go up to the ICU and the uh, ICU nurses, um, the therapist, speech therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy, and um, if we're fortunate enough to have the patient do very well, then we have um, social work and discharge planning working on the next step of their recovery and rehabilitation. So um, I think probably um, the attractive bit is working in a team that with all those cogs working together for the uh, end result of a good outcome for the patient. When I first started looking after trauma and ICU patients, it was uh, a very scaring, scary proposition. Uh, these are the sickest people. And as I got used to it and I saw there was a system, a pattern that I could follow to take care of any patient, uh, it was attractive to me because it, it was a challenge every time and I could apply my uh, methods to take care of whatever came through the door. Um, in addition, I'm fortunate that with this training of general surgery followed by surgical critical care and trauma, um, I can uh, spend my time in the ICU, I can spend my time in the operating room, and I can also do elective general surgery cases as they come along as well. So there's a gentleman who was on his day off uh, and was involved in a motor vehicle crash. He, he was brought into the emergency room and um, from the eyeball test, just looking at him, I was very worried he was uh, pale and uh, his numbers, his hemodynamics, heart rates and blood pressures were concerning. Uh, after I'd done the workup and at the same time we were resuscitating him, it became evident that he had an injury to the biggest vessel of his body, his aorta, and that had the potential to take his life in the near future. Uh, once again, I come back to the team, I had help from vascular surgery and uh, we came up with a plan for him. Uh, he didn't get through without a complication. He unfortunately had a stroke, which in many people that would be devastating. He stroked out one whole side of his head and uh, most people would not come back from that. And I'm happy to say that if you met him on the street now, you would not be able to tell anything. He is walking around normal, speaks normally, does all of his daily activities. He was a fortunate, so he's memorable for having a terrible injury, surviving a terrible injury, um, having an attitude to overcome and do the rehabilitation. And as I said, he is completely recovered. Uh, you wouldn't be, not be able to tell that he went through anything like that.